I'm feeling a spark of motivation today to get some home renovation work done. So what I did was I cleaned out our utility room and I got it ready for tile. This is gonna be kind of a big job, so I'm trying to get as prepared as I can. So far, I cut all the Dietra to fit into place, so it's all ready to go. I kinda of had to piece it together here because I was using leftover pieces, and this is all the Dietra I had left, and luckily I was able to get enough to do the area I wanna do. So they're just cut and laid down. They're not mortared yet, obviously, and I really wanted a solid piece in front of the door to make this area really waterproof. Uh, I had to piece these in here though. And coming into here, you can see the utility room. You'll notice that the water heater is in the way. So what we have to do is disconnect the water heater completely. Power, water, everything, and pull it out of here so that I can do all the Detroit and tile and then put it back in. So basically, we won't have water until this job is done. And sometimes we take a couple days to get our work done, so um, we gotta work quick. Well, actually, we can, have, we can have water. We can't have hot water. Since we're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and change our water filter. It's due for a change. It's actually overdue. It'll be interesting to see how rusty it is. Ugh. I do have a, a, a valve on here. A lot of people wondered why I didn't put any shutoff valves. It actually has a valve built in. It's off right now. We can have it on, off, or bypass. So that was kind of a handy feature. It's actually not as bad as I expected. Ooh, a lot of sediment. Probably should have just dumped that down the drain. That really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, so I'm happy about that. Good. And also, once this is out, can't we put that panel on this wall? Too? Yeah, that's gonna be my first job, is getting that panel on. Oh, cool. I wish water heaters just plugged in. Yeah. Okay. Let me just... We've opted to leave the tank full. It's a 40 gallon tank, so it's, it's heavy, but it's not like terrible. And the only reason we're leaving it full is because we don't feel like draining it. I just don't want to, I don't want to slam it down, so hopefully we can lower it gently. Ah, we did it. I felt like you were lifting it more than I was. <laughs> it was. And I have a line marked right here on the floor, and that's where the detra ends, so I just wanted to make sure that's out of that area, and then we can work freely. Awesome. So now we're going to go ahead and pull in the plywood. I already have it cut and painted for this area. So we can finally close off this wall. We checked the bay, make sure it was clean, make sure no tools were hidden inside. And check this out. Do you remember when I installed this PEX? This was white PEX. I actually wish I went with like blue or something, but we got this white PEX and look how rusty it looks. You can see right through it. So that's because our well water actually has a lot of iron in it, dissolved iron, and turns everything orange. You can show down here with the kitchen ones that aren't being used yet. Yeah, they all start out the same, more or less, but when they go down, these two lines are lines that aren't being used, and these are the ones, this is toilet and, yeah, bathtub, bathroom sink, washing machine. That's crazy how discolored it gets. Oh, I'm nervous. I hope we can get it in here. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I have the will today. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Oh, it 
it's almost there. If I can get this corner up here to pop in this doorway, which we are just a moment away from. Yeah, just bend it, Ready. force it. Ugh. Oops. Can we do it? Careful for the light shade. Yeah, I know. That's going to have to come off. Oh! All right. All right, guys, I'm nervous because we have never test fit this yet. I just hope it all lines up. These need to go in here. Is it looking good? Yeah. Actually, it looks really good. It's tight right here where it touches this plastic piece on the drywall. It should go up a hair. You gonna chip that corner off? Let me fight with this. We'll clean up the corner and get it in place and we'll come back. About, it's about as good as I'm gonna get it, right? Mm-hmm. So there's the finished Utility room? Actually, that looks really, really good. All right, guys, we have a big change of plans. I was getting ready, getting pumped up to eat some lunch, but then I was thinking about this work. We were just about to start all this. Um, I'm not ready. These are what's left of my tile spacers. And as you can see, I did a really bad job of taking care of them. They have a lot of mortar stuck to them, and we just don't have that many as it is. I don't want to start laying Deidre, I start laying tiles, run out of spacers, and I'm struggling to do a job, and I'm panicking. So we got the, the cold waters on. We're fine with that. We have running water at least. We can use the bathroom. Everything's ready to work, but we're going to stop. We're going to take a trip to the store and pick up some more tile spacers and probably more Deidre. Yeah, we just roll with it. We roll with the flow, so we're going to be taking you guys with us, and we're going to go get some shopping done. So we made it to our first destination and that's lunch. We're gonna eat something and then go shopping at Lowe's and hopefully get everything we need to get home and probably not do the title tonight. It'll be too late. Yeah, it'll be really late. But at least we'll be ready for tomorrow. So we're done eating. That was really delicious. We don't get to eat out much. So this is a fun treat when we come down here to go shopping. We finally made it to the destination. So we're gonna go get what we need and hopefully be on our way home. You can see it's already dark. It's starting to snow. And uh, we probably won't get much more done tonight. We're done shopping, getting ready to go home. Got a new bucket. And our tile spacers. This is exciting. We have to drive so far to get these <laughs> because we don't have a Lowe's near us. We got two rolls of Detroit and a little bit of mortar. So we're going home now. Weather is actually getting pretty bad, so hopefully the roads aren't too bad on the way home. You can see it's coming down. <sighs> we'll just take it easy. We made it home safe and it's the next day so we can start working. Believe it or not, we were out for six hours yesterday just to get these. It was a long drive. And eat Chipotle. Yeah. <laughs> I just mixed up the first batch of mortar, so we're ready to get working right now. Uh, we're just gonna get all the Dietra done, all of it we're hoping, because we bought those extra two rolls, so the, the kitchen utility room, this whole area, should be Dietra today at the very least. And I think I made a mistake. I was thinking I could just pull this out without draining it. And so it's full of water and it wasn't too bad to move, but I wasn't thinking about how I'm gonna get it up onto the 
tray. Every water heater should be in a pan like this. Um, we have an electric water heater, so we can use a plastic pan. Just we to, won't be able to lift it over the lip. Yeah. So we have to drain it. We'll probably have to drain it after all. Unless I can get it up on top of something and slide it over the lip. I have no idea. We'll figure that out when we get there. We already got our expansion gaps taped so that we don't get any mortar into them. And we're going to get started. Now on tile, you want all your grooves going the same direction, yeah? But the detour doesn't matter. And you want to work on this quick. You don't want it to skin over because then you ruin everything. How am I going to do it? I'll hold it up. I'm pretty happy with this. Though I think I want to pull it in hair this way. Let me see if I'm maintaining my width. These little gaps don't matter too much. It doesn't have to be perfect. Trying to see where this ends. Should be right here. Pretty close to the... Let me get some of this out of here. Man, what do these pieces grow? I think they do. We have noticed this content, uh, consistently, is that the Ditra expands. And this Ditra has been in her house for months. months. Yeah. And it's acclimated, and we even had it rolled out and cut the shape. But consistently, I've seen that after unrolling the roll, no matter how long it's been in the house, when you unroll it, it expands. I don't know why it does that, but every time I unroll it and let it sit overnight, it's bigger the next day. I think these won't be too bad because they're uh, small pieces. This is good looking progress. Check this out, Dietro coming in all the way in here. And I gotta remember to cut that hole out. Yep. So I got another bucket of mortar mixed. 
This is the unmodified mortar. Spacers, we're gonna, the plan is to go two rows straight this way, hop over, and try to do this whole room. This is the important room that we wanna get done. And then continue on after that. is going really good so far no major problems I'm kind of wrapping around I'm gonna to try to work myself out of here but that's the progress so far we got quite a bit of mortar to do I bet we can get this whole entry area done and then we'll take a lunch break Ashley did notice that we forgot our hole in the floor that I made a note that I have to cut out I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna fix that I might have to just go from the crawl space and try to cut it from below I have no idea That's all the mortar we have left to work with. So, let's see what we can do. I would say at least these six tiles here. So let me work in this area. Boom. Boom. Whatever, it'll squeeze out. We'll be okay. I feel like that lined up pretty well. Does it look good to you? Yeah. We don't have enough to keep going, so. So that's what we got done. That's actually Utility pretty good. Utility room and most of the entryway. Mm-hmm. Good. Actually, I have enough to do one more tile. I should cut this out, get some, get that done. Well, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish today, and that's just getting the back entryway tiled and the utility room, most importantly, so we can get this back in place soon. We never got a chance to finish the rest of the kitchen here, but that can come another day, not a big deal. Pretty soon. This came out pretty good. We went as quick as we could, but it was pretty slow still, but it came out okay. I'm not, I'm not. I think it came out really good. Yeah, no complaints. We still got a couple of little edges that we gotta probably fix up here and there, but nothing too major. So we're gonna wrap it up now. I really appreciate you guys watching, and until next time, take care. Bye.